basics grade. If you are not yet finished with lesson 13 in language, you should not be watching this video. So this is your language lesson for Wednesday, April 29th. Lesson 13 is due on Thursday. Lesson 14, the self-check is due. That will be graded, all right? So do that carefully. You only have to do the odds, but do it carefully and think about it. The things, the kinds of things that you're doing on the self-check are the kinds of things that you will see on the test. We will grade lesson 14 on Thursday and talk more about your test review. Let's just go over a few things on lesson 13. Make corrections if it's wrong, but you don't have to keep track of the number wrong. Okay, let's just go over a number of things here. Are they nouns or verbs? Number one, do not litter. Right? A piece of paper and throw it out the window. Do not litter. That is a verb. A litter of kittens, number two, you didn't have to do, but a litter of kittens is a noun. Number three, the big grandfather clock is a noun. Scientists clock the speed, see how fast something's going, that talks about clocking it, that's a verb. Number five, all of the girls sign Joy's cast, the thing that she has around, the thing, person plays with thing that she has around her arm because it's broken or whatever, that's a noun. Cast your nets on the other side is a verb. Number seven, held Natalie on her lap. Your lap is a thing, that's a noun. <clears throat> Lapped water like a dog is a verb. Number eight. Number nine. A, you're supposed to use loaf as a noun. So you could have loaf. What's the common loaf that you think of? A loaf of bread, all right? Here, take this fresh loaf of bread. It's a noun, it's a thing. Uh, so have loaf as a thing of some kind. Uh, this loaf of meat, you know, meat loaf maybe. You know, we don't say it like that, but technically if you have meat loaf, it's a loaf of meat, right? Loaf as a noun, an A. B, loaf as a verb. After you are finished with your schoolwork, you may loaf around. May loaf, okay? Someone loafs around. Loaf to loaf. Just goof off, relax, whatever. Diagrams. Check out these diagrams, number 15 and 17. <coughs> and 17. This is kind of an interesting one. The word nice and a positive renaming word. Word and nice are the same thing. The word nice meant foolish. Did you catch that as a predicate adjective? All right, meant foolish. Foolish word. Foolish nice. Meant foolish. Originally. When did it mean that? Originally. Back in the beginning, originally is an adverb. When? Right? <clears throat> Jerry's. Whose mattress? Jerry's is an adjective. Mattress is the subject. Okay? Jerry is not a layer. Mattress was predicate nominative layer. A layer of thick bear skin, all right? Fairly basic diagrams. Don't get confused by these kinds of subjects and adjectives, okay? Jerry is not the subject. Ask yourself, does it make, what makes sense? What is a layer of thick bear skin? Well, I don't think Jerry is, okay? Uh, mattress was a layer of thick bear skin, and up here you have this a positive. So be thinking about the positives and the different kinds of words that you need to Diagram, positive, predicate nominatives, predicate adjectives, all that good stuff, right? Number 19 and, 19 and 21. K 
Katie saw, underline saw, it is action. 20, that's number 19. Number 20, 21, sorry. Caleb is listening. Is listening, the verb, and that is also action. All right, make sure you have lesson 14 carefully done for Thursday, and it will be graded. Thank you very much. It's 11.30, I gotta go. Gotta go loaf around now, how about that?